So as we progress deeper into the tunnels of Fort Amherst, Richard, one of our mediums, found something quite disturbing. Um, most prominent thing, uh, someone's come through it, uh, fallen, fallen down. It's not just one, there's two. I'm, uh, I'm feeling as though I'm, I'm sort of stranded, I'm, I'm sort of strung up, but um, I'm, I'm strung up and I'm broken and there's, there's things broken on me. I don't know if it's my arm, my back, my legs or whatever, but I'm swinging, I'm smashing the sides. Um, but there's also this, this one that's come straight, straight down and straight into the bomb. But it, it's, it's, it's straight. It, there's, there's no argument saying happened up there. I, I'll tell you what I do, do think is I don't think it was a, accidental. I think this was like um, a real punishment and, and someone was actually um, shown. Uh, that look, if you if you really don't do this, that you know, this is what is going to happen. You're going to be dead. Spot on. Um, this is one of the areas where we have confirmed reports um, that a fight. We're not sure of the date, but a fight certainly took place in the open section or the open head of the shaft. Um, both men came down. Um, one resulted in a snapped neck, and the other chap uh, resulted in a snapped back. the tunnels of Fort Amherst, some very, very weird experiences, and we're now uh, coming live from uh, at the unpreserved area of the fort. Now, this area isn't open to the public. Um, it is traditionally the area where the guards used to be, hence the name the guard house. And obviously these guys were very strict and saw it as it was, and they didn't take any prisoners. We're going to go in there the last part of the uh, the fright day night show and see what happens my mind's very open but i'm not sure everyone here right, everyone's going in it's coming in oh you're going to get sick on yeah. but we want as quiet as possible everyone which part do you want to go into? We're live. Uh, do you want to go to, to right. the main action? I don't happens. know if you can hear me right now, but we are right now live in, uh, in the guard house of Fort Amherst. Now, the reason why we're on the phone is because um, we've had some technical issues this evening. Um, we've come, uh, this is very strange in the, uh, in the guard house, we've come here and. Uh, whew, Something uh, doesn't want to make our equipment work. Now, very, very briefly, uh, because we are coming very quickly towards the end of the show, uh, Chris, tell us the very brief history of where we are at the guardhouse at Fort Amherst at the moment. Well, welcome to uh, the infamous um, Amherst guardhouse, uh, or the Redoubt guardhouse. Um, lower level, barrack rooms. It's disconnected, guys. Now, we've already had breathing in here. And... Uh, Someone's uh, deep breathing, and you've had... This is not nice. This is not nice at all.
So we move further down the guardhouse in the unpreserved area of Fort Amherst in Chatham. Here again with uh, with Marcus Rock. and Richard Armedium, and we're trying to uh, we're trying to speak to Vincent, trying to get something going on here. Um, uh, Richard, you, you seem so you're I've speaking been to very agitated. Oh yeah, absolutely very agitated. Okay, my throat is going. I'm being restricted. My my chest is starting to move. It's starting to close up. I feel. If you want this, yes, you're making me feel hot. You're making me feel sick, Vincent. Sick is nothing. I've felt sick. I can feel sick in my life for all that you are doing. And I want more. I want more than this. I want more. I really want more. Do you want to get in my face? No. I really want you. You really want it. I can do this. You really want something. You're just a Okay. Come on! I can take you! I can take you! None of you can have me! None of you! I will come now. Calm down. 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 Calm Come back. Vincent. Can go. I think we should go. We should go. I think he should go. Vincent, Vincent should, should go. go. Vincent should go. Tell me, Rob, you were on the temperature gauge. I mean, what were you getting there? What kind of temperatures were you getting from the gauge? 32.5. Now, in a, just explain to us, in a normal scenario, you'd expect something like this to be... Uh, strange, paranormal. Uh, end of the day, uh, with it being cold in here, the temperature shouldn't have shot up that quick. There were no gradually, it just went straight up. But is it possible that, um, Richard, um, because, uh, you know, Vincent was there... I was making him the way uh, the way he was, and making his heart beat faster. Obviously, the more blood that's pumped around the body, the warmer the body's going to be. Hence, the shoot uh, uh, shoot up in temperature. That will go up gradually. If you probably get it's up, but it's whoa, 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 whoa! Bang in. Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah. Can you do that again? We're going to try and speak to Vincent now, who are we we think has gone upstairs. <laughs> upstairs, we've got motion detectors, so if anything goes through them. Um, they will hopefully go off and, and give us an indication that there's something in the building with us right now. Um, do you want to start us? Yeah. Vincent, man of the moment. This is your moment. You want to do something? Now's your time. This is it. Come on, Vincent. See what you can do. You've done little bits. Very small bits. You've walked. Walked again. Give us some real footsteps. Throw something. Move something. Just walk around upstairs. Show us what you're made of. You're a military man. You should be marching, not just walking. So, why not walk? Okay, is that's it? That's it. Do you want to go again? Do you want to throw something else? Because, hey, you know, that was one thing. Have a, have a go with something else. Throw a bit more. Move. Move around, Vincent. Just move around. March. Okay, if we stay very quiet for a moment. It's quite clear that he doesn't necessarily want to play tonight. No. Um, he only wants to play when we're talking. He's obviously a bit of a coward. I think it's time to go. I think it's time, it's time to go. go. Everybody, let's have a clap. Thank you very much yeah, for thank coming. You, everyone. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Vincent. Rob, has this been a, a life-changing evening for you? Has um, your opinion changed? You've had some, some interesting... At the beginning elements. of the night, it was interesting, wasn't it? Um, yeah, uh, Richard uh, messed with my head for about three hours. And, uh, yeah, that, that was quite... That, that was quite, uh, I don't know, emotionally draining more than scary, I would have said, actually. Um, the rest of the evening, still not decided. Still not decided, but it's always 2009.